Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Hey, let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by, I do appreciate it. Today's beer, guys, I've done this beer before, probably several times, many times. I uh, always look forward to, to the uh, celebration beer from Sierra Nevada every year. Uh, it doesn't hang around long, so uh, when you see it, you better pick it up because next time you go in, it might not be there. Uh, this is a 6.8%er, uh, guys, and this one was packaged on 10 4 of 19. Uh, as far as uh, IBUs, I don't think it has it on the bottle anywhere here. Uh, but it is a fresh hop IPA, guys. When I first started getting my hands on these guys, it, it, it blew my hair back and my socks off. Uh, over the last couple years, not so much anymore. Uh, it all depends on where your palate is, what you'd like to drink, and what you're used to drinking, basically. And with all these New England-style beers, uh, they basically blow these West Coast-style, and especially East Coast-style beers, in my opinion, out of the water with all the hop aroma and taste that they have. But it's still a well-made beer, guys. Uh, it just uh, uh, doesn't live up to... Uh, my expectations of what I want to drink, but it is what it is. I mean, it's, they're not claiming it to be anything other than a wet hop ale, and uh, these guys are out in California, uh, so uh, a decent West Coast style IPA, in my humble opinion. Uh, so uh, let's jump over to Untapped and see what they say. They say 65 IBUs on this beer, guys. Uh, said the long cold nights of winter are a little brighter with Celebration Now. Wonderfully robust and rich. Celebration Now is a dry hop for a lively, intense aroma, brewed especially for the holidays. It is perfect for a festive gathering or for a quiet evening at home. And being 6.8%, it's not a whopping beer. It's not a double or a triple or anything like that. It's a fairly tasty, easy drinking West Coast style beer. And it's a wet hop beer. That means they use fresh hops. Uh, whole cone hops basically uh, instead of pellets or lupulin powder or anything like that so uh, but I'm not as blown away by it with all the other styles especially New England style beers that I've been doing over the last couple of years it just uh, uh, it just doesn't get up to that aspect but like again they're not claiming it to be but so let's see what the 2019 edition brings to the table nice uh Yes, on that, a little bit of smoke, and into the glass we go. And I usually try to pick this beer up every year, guys. Uh, it is a decent beer. But like I said, it doesn't hang around long. If you don't pick it up in the first couple weeks you see it, uh, it won't be there. And I actually had to get this up at, uh, at the Blacksburg Kroger's when I was up there because Kroger's down here don't carry it. Anyway... A little over finger head on that pour. It does have a slight haze to it, uh, uh, but I can see light right through the uh, the bottom of the glass here. Very nice, rich amber color. Nice head. To the nose we go. A little bit of citrusy pine there, guys. Uh, I am getting a little bit of malt to it. Uh, uh, a nice, real rounded beer. Not too much hop, not too much malt. Uh, a very easy drinking IPA. So, uh, smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. To me guys, I like this beer because it basically reminds me of what I brew. The beers that I brewed taste 
very, very similar to what I've got in the glass right now. I don't do any kind of New England style uh, whirlpooling and that big super hazy orange juice looking beers. I haven't been able to do do anything like that. Uh, I don't think I have the, the know-how or the process to do that. So my beers will sometimes uh, are even a little clearer than this. I don't filter them, but uh, I use a, a secondary fermentation process for most of the sep drops out of it, either in the primary or the secondary. But to me, it reminds me of what I brew here at home. So that's probably why I still like it. <laughs> it is a tasty beer, guys. Yeah, I, to me, it's not world class or or anything like that. Not a tin beer to me, but it is a well-made beer. It is a decent beer, and and I will probably continue to pick it up. And it only comes out this time of the year. So uh, when it's gone, it's gone. So if you want to get your hands on it, you better try to get it now, because probably this time next month it'll be gone. Uh, I have seen this stuff disappear in one week. You go in, yeah, we got celebration in. I get it, and you go back the next week, now nah, we're out of it now. So I don't know how big the production run is. They have a big distribution at Sierra Nevada. I think it goes just about every state. Uh, so uh, if you see it, you better pick it up. Let's sip on this one. We'll come back and give it a great guy. All right, guys, I'm back. Nice slicing of stuff on the glass. This is, this is a tasty, decent beer, guys. Uh, I'm not going to take anything away from it. It's a very nice rendition of a West Coast style. It is a little more maltier than I like. I think mine that I produce are a little hoppier because I hop it a little bit more. I like that hoppy taste and aroma. Uh, so, uh, to me, it could be a little hoppier, but, yeah, pretty much in line of what I expected. Uh, uh, for a 6.8 percenter, it's very easy drinking. Uh, alcohol is well hidden. Uh, decent beer, guys. I mean, bottom line. And it should be available just about everywhere. Uh, Depending on what store you're going to, like I said, a local Kroger store around here doesn't carry it, so I had to go somewhere else to get it. So uh, it's not going to available in, uh, it's probably available in most states, but uh, don't, depending on the size of your store, uh, it may determine whether they're going to stock it or not. So if you found it and you like a, a nice uh, fresh hop IPA, yeah, it's decent. So final chuck. It is what it is. I'm going to grade it accordingly, guys. Uh, it's not a 10 beer to me. Uh, it is uh, an A beer. I'm going to give it an A minus. Uh, I'm going to give it a 90. Uh, it does have the package date on it, so some code or best buy, best before, or whatever. It does have the ABV on it, so very easy to read. Plus, it has 2019 edition on the upper label. So, you pretty much know what you're buying and how old it is. So uh, that's why I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt and giving it the A minus. Uh, if it didn't have that on it, I would probably give it to B or B plus. So over to Bear Advocate, they say 93. Uh, not quite there to me, but it probably might be, depending on where your palate is, to you. So uh, don't base what you're going to buy, what this old man here is telling you. Uh, buy what you want, what you like. Uh, so uh, with that being said, Let's jump over to Untapped. Untapped has it at 3.74, which is one notch uh, uh, from their B+. Uh, that is in the up, the very upper end of their B category. I think it's a little better than that. But uh, again, these guys that post comments and stuff on these sites, uh, sometimes they're not impressed. Uh, so, uh, and like I said, uh, there are probably tastier West Coast styles out there. But this is a mass-produced, because uh, uh, Sierra Nevada is a fairly big brewery, and uh, should be readily available most places. So, if you've had the 2019 edition of uh, Celebration uh, from Sierra Nevada, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the bridge.